Biodiversity is the variety of different types of life found in an area. Generally, there are two different types of biodiversity. These deal with variations in genes and variations in species. Genetic biodiversity deals with variations in the genetic makeup within a species. Genetically similar or diverse members of a species are compared to each other. Species biodiversity deals with the variation of the types of species or the number of species in an area. Types of species can be found. There are some general patterns of biodiversity on the Earth that relate to both types of biodiversity we've discussed. One of these are that biodiversity is not evenly distributed across the Earth. There are places with a higher biodiversity and those with a lower biodiversity with species and genetic biodiversity. Distribution of biodiversity can be seen in what are called latitudinal gradients. This means at different latitudes there are generally different amounts of biodiversity. For example, biodiversity is typically the highest in the tropics and the lowest typically at the poles. There are lots of proposed explanations for why these variations across the earth happen. Explanations for why there are these patterns in biodiversity are the climate harshness hypothesis, the energy hypothesis, the geographical area hypothesis. There might be variations in biodiversity, both genetic biodiversity and species biodiversity across the globe. See that we see is that it generally increases over time. Meaning that as time goes by, the variation of the genes within a species and the number of type of species in the area both increase as that time passes. So that species or an area becomes more and more biodiverse as time goes on. The biodiversity is that rapid environmental changes typically cause mass extinctions. Because of this, it's estimated that Greater than 99% of all of the species that have lived on the Earth, which is estimated to be more than 5 billion species, are currently extinct. Changes in the Earth's history have caused the extinction of greater than 99% of all of the species that have ever lived on the Earth. Look at why biodiversity is important and why it's something we should care about. If we didn't have the levels of diversity that we have at all levels of the ecosystem, our supermarkets would look very different. There would be so many variations in fruits, plants, or animals that we could then consume or get at our supermarkets. Diversity is vital for medical advances. And a majority of the new drugs that we have on the market are a result of discovering new species. And those new species might not be able to be discovered if we continue to reduce our levels of biodiversity. Diversity also makes it easier for our ecosystems to adjust to disturbances. For example, if we had an ecosystem, say a forest that had 20 reptiles in it, and one of those reptile species went extinct, for that ecosystem to adapt to that disturbance than if we had only one reptile species in that forest and that one reptile species went extinct. Diversity in an ecosystem makes it much easier for that ecosystem to adapt to disturbances. To prevent disease. If it has a high level of genetic diversity, it increases the survivability of that species. This happens because that variations in the genes makes the group as a whole less susceptible to that disease. To biodiversity across the world. These threats lead to or have the potential to lead to high extinction rates and are complex issues within themselves. Some of these key threats are but are not limited to habitat loss, overhunting, invasive or non-native species, pollution, and climate change.